This is a LibriVox.org recording by Connor Riley. This recording is in the public domain. Thus Spake Zarathustra by Friedrich Nietzsche, translated by Thomas Common, Part 1, Chapter 13. Chastity. I love the forest. It is bad to live in cities. There, there are too many of the lustful. Is it not better to fall into the hands of a murderer than into the dreams of a lustful woman? And just look at these men, their eyes saith it. They know nothing better on earth than to lie with a woman. Filth is at the bottom of their souls, and alas if their filth has still spirit in it. Would that ye were perfect, at least as animals, but to animals belongeth innocence. Do I counsel you to slay your instincts? I counsel you to innocence in your instincts. Do I counsel you to chastity? Chastity is a virtue with some, but with many almost a vice. These are continent, to be sure, but doggish lust looketh enviously out of all that they do. Even into the heights of their virtue, and into their cold spirit, doth this creature follow them with its discord. And how nicely can doggish lust beg for a piece of spirit, when a piece of flesh is denied it? Ye love tragedies, and all that breaketh the heart? But I am distrustful of your doggish lust. Ye have two cruel eyes, and ye look wantonly toward the sufferers. Hath not your lust just disguised itself, and taking the name of fellow-suffering? And also this parable give I unto you. Not a few who meant to cast out their devil went thereby into the swine themselves. To whom chastity is difficult, it is to be dissuaded, lest it become the road to hell, to filth and lust of soul. Do I speak of filthy things? That is not the worst thing for me to do. Not when the truth is filthy, but when it is shallow, doth the discerning one go unwillingly into its waters. Verily there are chaste ones from their very nature. They are gentler of heart, and laugh better and oftener than you. They laugh also at chastity, and ask, What is chastity? Is chastity not folly? But the folly came unto us, and not we unto it. We offered that guest harbour and heart, now it dwelleth within us. Let it stay as long as it will. Thus spake Zarathustra. End of Part 1, Chapter 13